Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful, and the everlasting curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, allow me to start as usual with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs, Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam, who says, By my life, the Imam is the one who rules by the Book of Allah and the one who stands up for justice, equity and the one who follows the religion of Allah and retrains himself for the sake of Allah the Almighty. Our respected viewers, peace and blessings be upon you and welcome to Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life starting from his miraculous birthday talking about some of the events and stories happened to him during his holy life, mentioning some of the prophetic quotes said in his right, and then ending up with his unmatchable, unparalleled martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi, and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in the last episode, we spoke about the letters sent to Imam Hussein from his followers in Kufa, and Muslim bin Aqil being in Kufa in order to take the pledges of allegiance from the people there. However, in today's episode, we will talk about the idea of fitna or sedition in Kufa. Our respected viewers, when a Nu'man bin Bashir, Yazid's governor in Kufa, realized that Muslim bin Aqil had taken allegiance on behalf of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam from thousands in the city, he took action to quell any potential uprising. However, his response was to be deemed weak by Yazid bin Muawiyah and ultimately the repression would only intensify between them. Thus, our respected viewers, when he discovered what was going on, Al Nu'man bin Bashir called an assembly in the mosque, ascended the member, and shamelessly attempted to appeal to the Islam of the people to put down their demand for the just government of Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam. He says, Fear Allah, do not rush into rebellion and discord, for in that man would be destroyed, blood would be shed, and property would be blundered. I do not fight anyone who does not fight me, nor do I disturb those of you who remain silent. I do not oppose you, nor do I detain you on mere grounds of suspicion, accusation, or heresy. However, if you turn your faces from me, violate your oath of allegiance, and oppose your Imam, meaning the accursed Yazid, then by Allah and Nu'man swears, other than whom there is no God, I will strike you with my sword as long as its halt remains in my hand, even though I do not have any of you to help me. Yet I hope that those among you who know the truth are more numerous than those whose falsehood will destroy. Our respected viewers, what gun must one possess to claim the sight of truth while calling to a false imam and denouncing the one who has been appointed by none other than Allah the Almighty? What shackles must surround the heart of one who calls others to fear Allah while he himself stands in back face disobedience to his will. Allah Almighty, during the ascension of his messenger, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, described to him the characteristics of the people of the world versus the people of the hereafter. One of the traits of the worldly people is that they are brave in their disobedience of Allah. What else could describe these words? of an Nu'man bin Bashir except bravery and boldness in disobedience to his Creator. Our respected viewers, as soon as he finished his speech, one of Banu Umayyah's loyalists by the name of Abdullah bin Muslim bin Rabi'ah rose and immediately denounced an Nu'man's words as weak and instead urging swift recourse to bloodshed and repression. O oh, Governor, this person said, this situation can only be solved by violence. The view you hold about what should be done between you and your enemy is that of the weak ideology. 
peace be upon you, O master of martyrs, when you were born, and when you were murdered, and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the master of our time to interpret the message of his grandfather, Al Imam Al Hussein Ali, salam, when he says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.